tea with an MD going out in, of course, that would be November, the month of the elections. This is, as I said, a hard one because we'll be forward, backwards, inside and out in time. And things will have happened that I'm worried about and things will not have happened that I'm afraid of and it's all good. So, as Opeyemi begins a conversation, tea with an MD, this is the medical one. I had my first true understanding that I was growing old. It came in a strange way. It came in a small little bruised area on my thumb. Now, as the kettle boils, and I surrender into my fears and anxieties, I'm a physician and I understand, pouring myself a cup of hot tea, that I have fears of cancer and that uh, my generation has a high number of skin cancers. So I invite you to understand that as we grow older together in a healthy way, we take um, an anxiety and we turn it into an intuition. I believe that I will always know when any parts of my skin are out of balance. I make an agreement with myself. I say it as an affirmation. I will always know. And therefore, um, I have had the experience as a family doctor of a patient who came to me because she had dreamed she had a cancer on her skin. And we looked her over together with my expert eye and her intuition. And we found a suspicious mole, sent her to a dermatologist, and had her cancer removed. Right? We're stepping into clarity. So from that place, I say, I had this little area on my hand, and it was actually a scrape, uh, a deep scrape, a scrape with a level to it that was like a razor, like it had, had been sliced. In fact, it even put me in mind in my neurotic place of possibly having had alien surgery without my consent or knowledge to either put in some nanotechnology or take it out. Ooh. Anyway, um, I had this bizarre fantasy in my head about my finger. It took me three days to understand and figure out, because I didn't remember a wound, that I had slung a very heavy bag over my shoulder and it had brazed across my finger the heaviness of the canvas bag and my skin is becoming thinner as I age. So it had ripped through a layer of my skin. It was deeper than a dermal abrasion, but it wasn't quite a laceration. Those of you of the left brain listen to what I'm saying. So I scanned my own body and realized, wow, that is really kind of wild. Um, it's letting me know that I'm aging. It's helping me remember what I want to do. Stay healthy in my nutrition as I prepare my meal for myself this morning. It's nine o'clock on a holiday. I'll have a cup of tea. I will prepare some food for later in the day, later in my morning. Uh, I speak to you in a happy, relaxed way, knowing also that other people are having other experiences of this holiday. Some are so stressed they can't relax. Some are in a position where they actually have to be uh, doing work. And some are raging. And it's the raging ones that I'm interested in connecting to in part two.